Today we're going to go through the uh, configuration of the SST ESR2 CLX RLL module. Uh, we'll go through right from the beginning, uh, from the default address, changing it, and then uh, getting through to uh, actually exchanging data with a, with a device. Uh, so out of the box, uh, it'll come with our default address, which uh, we'll almost certainly want to change. So we'll start by setting IP address. Now on the side of the module, we have the MAC address. So my MAC address here is a 055E. Uh, so we can get the IP address. We see that it comes up as the, the default. Uh, so I'm going to change that to 77 and set IP. And I'll take a moment for it to set and then uh, reset the module for the IP address. And now the update's done. has the new IP address. We can exit out of that. And now what we want to do is start the console. This brings up the configuration manager. Uh, we're going to create an empty configuration. And give it a name. And it already has the SR2 selected. And we're going to use the Ethernet IP driver today. Uh, we need the IP address of the ENBT module that we're connecting through uh, the backplane. The slot number of our module, uh, which is slot number 2. And the IP address is the IP address of your um, PC that you're connecting through with the software. I say OK, and that will open up the console software, configuration software. Um, it'll warn you that you're about to connect to it using the Ethernet IP link. We say yes. And we see at the bottom that uh, we're connected, uh, but the configuration is not up to date. So first of all, we're going to go to the channel 0, which is our Ethernet channel. Double click on that. I'll select TCP IP. And we're just doing Modbus TCP today, so we'll select that. Confirm our choice. Uh, now we see the equipment library is populated, uh, as well as the uh, server equipment in the middle. So what we're just going to do is connect to a generic Modbus device today. So we can click and drag that over to the middle. Uh, we're going to uncheck the link parameter so that we can change the IP address here. Uh, our device is at address 135. Uh, transport protocol, TCP port, all of that is, is fine the way it is. Uh, message parameters is uh, fine at the default settings also. Now we see that that shows up under the uh, server equipment there. What we want to do now is set up uh, two simple uh, cyclic functions, one to read to the device and one to uh, write to the device. Uh, so we go over and click on new cyclic function. And the first one we're going to do is a write. And we're going to go and change the protocol to generic Modbus. And we're going to write a word. And we're going to write at uh, offset uh, 1000 in the device. And we're just going to do one word. And so we say OK. And we see that that uh, uh, shows up in our output table. Uh, now we're going to do a read, so what we're going to do is write to that device and then we'll read it back so that we can see our uh, data gets up, updated uh, in the PLC. Again, we'll select generic Modbus. Again, offset 1000 in the device. And that's going into the PLC at offset uh, 2 in the input table. So we have our cyclic function set up. Uh, we need to save our configuration. Uh, and then we need to initialize our card, which is this uh, green flag here, or under the file, uh, you can do module initialization. And this takes approximately uh, 30 seconds to a minute to initialize the card. When it's finished initializing, our um, number one down at the bottom will, will change to a bright green, showing that we have uh, an up-to-date configuration in our 
console and on the module. And you can see the configured module state at the bottom as that bright green. Uh, that's all the setup that we need to do in the console. Uh, the next we will go to uh, IRS Logics 5000 and add the module there using the add-on profile.